Our increasingly digitized world is facing a scarcity of tech professionals. In the European Union alone, it's predicted there'll be a shortage of some 526,000 ICT specialists by 2020. I've come to Amsterdam to visit a new kind of programming school, still under construction, designed to address that problem. It has an unconventional approach to learning and is aimed at training the workforce for the 21st century. This is Kodam. It's open to anyone aged between 18 and 30. Kodam opened its doors in September. You don't need a qualification or programming experience to study here, and it's completely free. A core concept is that higher education should be open to all. I tried this past three years to join a university, and each year I had something in a way. I saw Kodam in Instagram, and I was like, man, that, that sounds cool. With a curriculum and not-for-profit ethos based on a Parisian coding school, 42, Kodam was created and is fully funded by the co-founder of satnav company TomTom, Corinne Vigro. How has it been so far? Uh, challenging. Yeah? <laughs> but you enjoyed but nice. it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I believe education is the last bastion that needs disrupting. And in companies, we find it very difficult to get the staff uh, that we need. I think in Holland only we have about 3,500 students studying computer science and the demand just in Amsterdam is tens of thousands. She's also hoping to address a gender imbalance in the industry. That disparity is clear to see in the percentage of female employees in tech jobs at some of the world's leading tech companies. Yeah, it is. We want to tell more uh, people that school exists. Uh, but especially more girls. For me, it's really very important to get as many women uh, as possible into CODAM. My aim is 50-50. Today I'm at 23%, which is uh, higher than any of other school in coding today. I want 50-50. I'm not going to give up until I'm at 50 <laughs> Each year, around 700 hopefuls like these will compete for places by completing an intensive four-week battery of projects. Around a third will be accepted for CODAM's full three-and-a-half-year course. Frédéric Blom successfully came through the initial take. It's really clear what you have to learn every day. So you help each other, that's, that's it. Also you can just Google a lot of things, just try to figure it out yourself and with your classmates. Cooperation here is a key skill. There are no teachers at Kodam. Students are taught through peer-to-peer -peer learning and evaluation. So given that there's no teacher, how do you know when you've gone wrong? Sometimes. You don't know the answer, so you go to people and ask them, uh, how do I have to do this? It's not that you're given the answer, but you're going to use their answers to create your own uh, solution for mm -hmm. the problem. Within a day, everybody starts really helping each other, working with each other, and, uh, and the system really, really works. I think this is the future of education. So what will all of this look like when it's finished? When we have full capacity, we'll have between 500 and 600 students. We'll be probably the biggest coding institution in Holland. And where will all of these students live? Well, we are talking to partners in the city to be able to, uh, to make affordable accommodation. At Kodam's predecessor, 42, they get around two job offers for every student. It's early days, but this school will be hoping its unconventional learning model is equally as effective. It really is another language. Yeah, it is. If I look to it now, I'm like, what? I've learned that in a month. Yeah. <laughs>